This is like, this is amazing right now, bro. It's crazy right now? What, crazy. You up? know when I first became paralyzed, bro? When? You the first person I, I searched, bro. Because I was on YouTube. I was like, what? How, to drive, how to drive a car? <laughs> I, I, was right next to my, I was right next to my baby mama. And I was mm -hmm. like, Look at this guy. His name is the same. He has the same name as me. <laughs> Paralyzed, I was like, yo. Okay. And he's okay. Into I was like, yo, this is this is great. But, okay. Uh, and yo, what's crazy too is right. Um, is I just had a VA appointment before I came on this call, and the guy's name was Kevin Anthony Vargas. My name is Kevin Anthony Ortiz. So that's crazy. I literally just spoke to somebody named Kevin Vargas before I got on. That's wild. That's wild. <laughs> that's wild though, my man. So uh. Hey, look, man, tell us a little bit about you. You know, where you from, your age? Well, bro, um, I was born out Guatemala, bro. Migrated okay. To the United States when I was about six years old. Came okay. out early. Right there okay. by Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm 21, bro. Got a beautiful one-year-old daughter. Congrats. Uh, thank you, bro. It's, it's, it's every, everything. Like, you know, every, like, I, like my mom says, everything happens for a reason. Yeah, I okay. Paralyzed. I became paralyzed right when my, my baby mom was like, what? Six months, I became paralyzed October 25th, 2020. About almost okay. two years, almost two years. It happened, I remember the time too. It happened at 12.05 a.m. Bro, because the funny That's thing crazy. is, because right when everything happened, I was mm -hmm. on my phone. I was talking mm -hmm. to my mom, me and her were going at it. Like, she was like, mm -hmm. come home. She was yeah. going, she was like, as mm -hmm. a mother, I feel like something's going to happen. Like, something bad's okay. going to happen. And mm -hmm. I looked at my phone and I saw the time and I was when I was leaving the party, that's when, like, you know, everything mm -hmm. happened. Crazy thing, bro. It was a setup, bro. My own, mm. really, my right hand man, bro, set me up. Mm. Tried to rob me. I fought back. His cousin came from behind me, shot me in the back. One bullet. That's shot crazy. me right. One bullet. Uh, shot me in the back, bro. The bullet luckily ended in my neck. It's still in my neck, though. Dang. So pretty much, it just it just traveled. Did it hit anything else? My lungs. My lungs collapsed. Mm. Uh. And that's about it. Are you comfortable with talking about it? Bro, I'm 100% comfortable. You good? I love, my, I, that, that's something about me, bro. Okay. Uh, I love t t t uh, talking about my story just because, you know what I'm saying? There's, mm -hmm. there's, there's, okay. There's a lot of trust in a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And my story just brings out, like, you can't really be out here trusting everybody, you know? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. I love, I love talking about my story, man. All right, hey man, that's what's up. That's what's up. Uh, for me, for for me, I ain't really like talking about my story that much, you know, just because everything that happened, like it just didn't sit right. But once I finally, you know, pretty much got the balls to really go out there and tell it, it was very therapeutic for me. Like it helped me get over a lot of things. It helped me move forward, and it helped me just want. It, it really helped me just just want to do better for myself. Yeah. So it helps so, a lot of people too, bro. People be listening. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. So uh, that's exactly what we're trying to do. We're trying to get the people to listen to your story. So hopefully the next person can hear it and get some type of, you know, motivation from it or inspiration from it. Because as long as we help one person, we did our job. So it did everything right happen at the party? In front of the party, bro. Right in front oh, of Oh, okay. Everything happened. It happened only like in a flash, bro. Mm-hmm. I got okay. shot, man. I didn't even know I got shot. When I got shot, bro, I thought, because mm -hmm. I was fighting. Remember, I was okay. fighting. Okay, yeah. Like, did this guy just knock my shit out? Like, cause I like I, I just felt my body drop. And I was like, bro, did I really just get whooped like this, bro? Mm -hmm. And then whole yeah. time my my boy, I went with my boy. He was inside though. He comes outside. He turns me around. And the crazy part is, right after I get shot, I'm, I'm still getting stomped on, bro. They mm -hmm. stomped me out, bro. They robbed me still after. Yeah. So it was like I feel like that messed me up more because you know after getting stomped out, like that made probably made the bullet move more. Mm -hmm. My spine was. Yeah. Up, you know what I'm saying? Okay, and, so. Um, yeah, my mistake comes out. You're like, bro, you just got shot. I was like, for real? Mm hmm. And I could because I didn't feel the bullet go in me, bro. I didn't feel the bullet mm -hmm. go in me. I just felt like a little wave, a little electricity wave shock and a little mm -hmm. ringing in my head. Okay. And I try to get up, you know, just try to get up. And I was like, yo, I can't get up, though. I was like, mm -hmm. bro, don't tell me I'm paralyzed, bro. I thought that was a nightmare. Like, I was like, nah, this is a nightmare. I'm going to wake up, you know, yeah. Nah, yeah. I woke up in the hospital. I was like, yeah, this is not a nightmare. So pretty much, as far as you know, it is, as soon as the gun went off, you just dropped. Yes, I mm. just dropped, bro. It happened that fast. You say you woke up in the hospital. Did you wake up the next day or was you an induced a coma for a little bit? I woke up the 
next day, but I was conscious through the whole process of them. Like, they had to stick some mm. tubes in my lungs to get the blood out of my lungs. Shit. Yeah, I, was, I was conscious through all that, but, you know, mm. it, was, it, it wasn't really painful, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It wasn't really painful. Then they had to take me to a helicopter, right? They took me to a whole different heli- uh, hospital. Okay. And, like I said, they were on my phone, and I'm the type of mm. guy, I don't remember numbers bro i'm always yeah. with the doctor like yo what's your mom um, number i was like yo i don't even know i'm gonna be honest with you mm-hmm. what's your baby i remember my baby mama's number i called her and i you know she, i was like yo i'm, I'm at the hospital i just got shot i'm paralyzed mm-hmm. oh well, uh, after that i didn't hear nothing she just started crying yeah and the, the doctors took over after that for real for real um mm-hmm. parents showed up couple hours after mm-hmm. they were with me the whole i was in the hospital for like a good three months yeah for a okay. good two to three months yeah probably. i was i was in there about the same amount of time so the initial moment that you found out that you was paralyzed like tell us what that was like like how did you feel because i know for me i i didn't I, I don't know just i i guess i was just so happy i was alive that just hearing that i was paralyzed wasn't really an issue for me ah uh, that's yeah exactly that then i was like the fuck's the point? Cause I'm a I'm a guy where I love to mm-hmm. I love, I'm a I'm a I'm a race car driver, or whatever. Like you know, I have a yeah. Bro, my car is literally just sitting out there because I can't drive because I have to you use get... my legs. It's a manual. Oh, damn. yeah. And I love playing sports. You know, I was a football. I was in a football team and all that. I was like, mm-hmm. I was doing boxing as well. So I was like, mm. you can still you can still do the boxing thing. Look, you can still drive. You ain't never think about training and then getting you automatic. Boy, I, I, I drive my dad's automatic. Okay, okay, okay. You he drive just, with the head controls? Same, you know what I mean? Nah, it's not I feel the same you. Not with the loud exhaust, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, I mean, feel you, I feel you, I feel you. Know, I feel you. It's in that joint, bro, driving up. It's not yeah. the same. I do be boxing. I do, um, a couple months ago, I met my uh my boy. I call him my mentor. He's been in the chair for mm-hmm. about 14 years, bro. Okay. I shot as well. Um, He literally took me under his wing. Mm-hmm. I, was, I was still in that depression stage. He took me under his wing, bro. He taught me how to drive. Mm. He taught me, like, the getaway, how to use my catheters. Like, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I, have to use, I was using the bags, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and those were expensive, too. So he was like, Oh, yeah. Man, oh, yeah, man. They ain't cheap. They ain't cheap. Like, get a water bottle, bro, and get the ones that don't bring a bag at the end. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Lubricate that joint, stick it in. And, you good to go. Yeah, literally. Okay. You good to go after, okay. bro. Okay. And, um, he's also he was boxing. He was, so we be boxing. We be getting mm-hmm. in there every day, bro. I'm by, after this, I'm probably gonna go to his house and go get it. For real, in that's what's up. That's what's <laughs> up, my man. That's what's up. So, um, so you say you was in a hospital for three months. In that whole three months, mm-hmm. what do you feel like you learned? Do you feel like you learned enough to to take you home with? To be grateful. I learned, bro. To be grateful about the little mm-hmm. stuff, bro. Mm-hmm. I never really thought. Like you know, like when I when I had my legs, I wouldn't, I didn't, I didn't notice how easy my yeah, life was. You know exactly, what I'm yeah, exactly. Yeah, I learned literally just to be grateful, mm-hmm. and just to be happy, bro. Because when I was in the hospital, bro, I, I seen more, I seen younger people more fucked yeah. up than I was, bro. Parents from the neck down, exactly. Bro. Or you know exactly. What I'm saying? I, and, and, yeah, being in the hospital was kind of tough for me because I was in the ICU when I first woke up for, I would say about like two weeks, so. You really getting all that traffic of people coming in at night, you know, you hearing people's families, you know, just break down crying because, you know, they loved one came in in the ICU and then they ain't make it. And then the family come in there late at night and they, they screaming, you know, and then you in the ICU. So, you know, you hooked up to all these machines. It's, it's terrifying. How fast from the time that you woke up to the time that they actually started getting you up and actually putting you in a wheelchair? Oh, they took me. It took me like a good, bro. It took me like a good month, month and a half to two months, okay. bro. Okay. Yeah, and it's just because I didn't want to. I didn't like being in a wheelchair, mm-hmm. bro. Once I got in a wheelchair, I just got too lightheaded. Yeah. Like I like, and it reminded me. It started reminding me of that that, that day. Mm-hmm. I got After I get to exactly. eat, you know what I'm saying. And it's not. I tell people, people are like, how's it being a wheelchair? It's not that. Yeah, it's bad, not. Bro. You on the schedule? Uh, bro. Actually, my when I need a. When I use I need a cath, bro, I get a little cramp in my stomach. Okay. I'm gonna hold you. I get a little cramp, and I was like, "Oh shit, I need a I need a cath," you know. Mm-hmm. I was on the schedule, like a little four hour schedule, you know what I'm saying? Then I How'd that go for you? Uh, I will leak a lot. You leak a lot? You know, okay. Yeah, when I was on my schedule, bro. I leak a lot. Okay, so okay, so, are you taking oxybutynin 
at all? Nah, take nothing, bro. You see, that's exactly what you see. Look, you take that oxybutin. I promise you, you won't have that problem. You know, look, if you you should have a primary care doctor. You got a primary care doctor? Nope, bro. That's the fucked up shit, bro. You ain't got no insurance. I'm on, I'm on no insurance, bro. Damn. I'm on no insurance, Damn, bro. And, and, and you know, if they ever, if they if they did um get the guy that shot me. Mm -hmm. I would have, you know, they would have, like, you know, helped me with some insurance, but they let, uh, unfortunately, they let everything, they dropped the case, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. Like, Damn, that like sucks. Said, I got shot in the back, so I can't really say, yo, he shot me. This is an area where I really don't have any information on. So, I want to ask you, because for me, I get myself from the VA. How much do you think it costs you a month to be paralyzed? Damn. Let me see. Bro. I don't know. Uh, Catherine, they've been going up now. So finally, a, a good five hundred, bro. The, I'm, I'm trying to price it a little bit, but you know I'm a little big guest right now. Bro. Ooh, okay. I can see I, that. I, I be leaking a lot, and I be getting a lot of UTI. Damn, the whole no insurance. Like you're, you're actually the first person I've actually came across that didn't have insurance. So it's bro, you know that shit, bro. Being in a chair, bro. That shit. Like, then being a father too, bro. Mm -hmm. No insurance, bro. Mm hmm. I'm about to be old quick, bro. Just know that, bro. Nah, I'm man. stressing too much, bro. Nah, man. Don't look at it like that. Don't look at it like that. You work right now? Uh, yeah. My, Where you uh, work at? Boy, like I told you, my boy took me under his wing. Yeah. He does real estate. So he's giving me a little real estate classes and stuff. Okay. You know? just, okay. Uh, thank God I just sold my first house. Not so what? Long. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Made a Whoa, what you sold your house? Tell us about that. Bro, all right. So I, I be doing the wholesaling business. So, you know, I'm Okay. Thinking, the middle man, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. we, went around, we went around literally, um, and we found a house, a beat up house, bro. It was, mm, it was okay. Bad. Yeah, we called the owner, and he was like, "Yo, the, the the guy that just lived there, you just died, like you know." It's, yeah. It's then we said, "Cool, we'll buy it off you." We bought it. We bought. Uh, we found a buyer, and you know, we sold it to him more more than we just bought it. You know what I'm saying? We just kept. Mm -hmm. kept it. Hey, right, look. Uh, quick question, cause I so, I noticed you did it right now. Do you stutter? Yeah, I stood there a lot, Me bro. too. Me too. Me too. I don't know if you noticed it in the videos, but I do. I do. I know what I'm going to say, bro, but once it comes out, I'm like, Yo, I know. <laughs> that's crazy. We got two Kevin's on here that stutter. So that's wild. But it's all good, though. It's all good because I know how that is. Like, growing up, too. Like, I ain't never really feel like it was bad. Like, I mean, girls always thought it was cute, so I ain't really never having a problem right there. But my sister tell me, nah, you used to stutter a lot, and I really don't even know. Like, I don't, maybe I did. I don't know. Oh, yeah, bro, but not yeah, bro. I was in that real estate business. It's amazing, mm -hmm. you know, doing it from the chair, too. It's nice, but yeah. I'm, I was, before I got in the chair, bro, I was doing plumbing. Plumbing? So, okay. Uh, I was on the field, you know what I'm saying? I, I mm -hmm. like being so it's just boring being behind that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like behind a computer or something, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Okay, Maybe. so so whenever you bought the first house, uh, was it a problem you going up in there? Or did it just so happen to be all on one level? You was able to get in there easily? Because I know when uh, I was... We, 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 we sent one of our friends. Oh, okay. You know, he FaceTimed us and he just... Okay. You know, he, okay, he, he, that's what's up. But I, I fumbled the bag, just know that, bro. What? You fumbled the bag? No! Sold the house, bro. Sold the house, bro. Say, you know what? Fuck it. I'm buying a trip to Miami, bro. Oh, damn. <laughs> you, you had a good trip, at least? Bro, it was an amazing trip, bro. It was an amazing trip? Hey, man, that memory going to last you a lifetime. I needed it. Like, I told my mom, I was like, you stupid. You know, you went to... I was like, I might be stupid, but just know I learned a lot about myself. Yeah. And I to be independent, because, you know, my mom mm -hmm. was in there. To help me, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so you went by yourself, or did you go with your girl? Like, how'd you do with it? Friends. With some friends. With some friends? Okay. Yeah. All right, all right, did you stay by yourself? Uh, yeah, we 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 got our Airbnb and all that. You know okay. Okay. Was yeah. it okay? So, see, I know how it is for me. Whenever I'm about to go on a trip somewhere, did you look for an Airbnb that was all on one level, or like, how did you go about looking it up? Yeah, we looked for an Airbnb in one level. Okay. But then when we got there, bro, I went with my boy. I was in a wheelchair as well. When mm -hmm. we got there, okay. bro, our, our wheelchair did not fit through the bathroom. Ah, oh, damn. Yeah, bro. <sighs> that was cool though. It's cool. We we uh we uh thought of some ways to get into the bathroom. I bet so, you good then. You good. You good then. You good. You, hey, look, it's always a way. It's always yeah, a way. Yeah, it was in this slingshot, bro. I had my little wheelchair right next to me, bro. You, know, you liked it? Oh, they're they're fun, bro. You they like just, it? 
And people are like, yo, once they see you, ah, uh, they see you. Yeah. And they see yeah. right next to you in a wheelchair, like, yo. What's yeah. The and people, you know, it's not, they see stuff like that, but barely see it like that, you know what I'm saying? They see yeah, it on nah, TV I or something like that, you know what I'm saying? I feel you. I didn't even lie, so when you see, you feel like this shit, you know what I'm saying? Mm hmm Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, so, so, you've been in a wheelchair about going up on a year and a half, pretty much. Yeah. Okay, so what do you feel like has been the hardest thing or the hot, the hardest obstacle that you had to face since, since becoming paralyzed? <sighs> and also, what T8. level are you? Uh, T8. T8, okay. T8, T8, T8. Okay, um, so does that mean you paralyzed a little bit more up or a little bit more down? Right here. Okay, okay. Like my first peck down, bro. My okay. first peck down, yeah. Okay. But I okay. Know yeah. Feels numb on my first pack. It feels like really numb. Then it just okay. like nothing. It feels weird, but that's weird, bro. For my mind to comprehend it is weird. Like you know, I'm touching yeah. it, I can't feel it. Like yeah, trust me. I trust me. I know the feeling. No, I but know the uh, feeling. my hardest thing, bro. Stairs. Stairs. <laughs> stairs, bro. Damn. Even though I can get upstairs, bro. I can like you know bump my up to yeah. stairs, bro. It's just yeah. too much workout, bro. Other than that, bro, nothing. Nothing's uh, a little. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, man, I don't mess with stairs at all, <laughs> at all, at all. Nah, I'll, look, that's why every place I either go to or like, it's all gonna be on one level. You know what I mean? Like, but my parents' house they do have stairs, but the VA came and they installed like a chair that actually like, like you just press the button and then it goes up there. But it was a, I ain't gonna lie, it was a pain actually transferring onto the chair and then like I gotta swap and then go to the other one. Man, I ain't gonna lie, man, that shit, that shit was hectic. I had to learn well because after I became fair, like we, me, me and my, me and my baby mom, well, we just started fixing stuff out. So before, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Before she was in the picture, you know, she was in the picture for a good six months. Mm -hmm. Girls would invite me over, bro. You know, every, I don't know why every girl lives in the third, third floor, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know That's why crazy. <laughs> That's, they all stay on the third floor. That's wild. That's wild. So I was like, damn. <laughs> And I, I, I'm trying to get in there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, I mean, shit, you still got up there, right? I still got up there, bro. You still got up there, yeah. Okay, okay, look. <laughs> Ain't nothing to stop in the, hey, hey, look, I feel you on that. I feel <laughs> <laughs> The way coming back down the stairs is easy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, it ain't bad, it ain't bad, it ain't bad. Do you stay on your own? Uh, no, I live with my people. You stay with your parents? Yeah. Okay. Okay, do you have any plans to move out? Definitely, bro. I Definitely. Have, okay. Okay. I have, I have plans before this even happened, bro. Like, yo, I need yeah. to get out, bro. I need nah. to get out, bro. Then I got into this real estate. Yo, you mind if I give a shout out to the thumb guy, bro? Nah, man. Hey, what's no. that? Hey, do your thing. Do your thing. Thumb guy, my boy. Yeah. Bro, what's that? I'm going to give a little story about it. Okay. Uh, my, my boy in the wheelchair, bro, his dad used to be a professional fighter. Okay. And he used to, he was coming, he was coming up as a fighter too, but then, you know, he got a little accident. Mm -hmm. So he made a little, uh, little, little thing around the community where everyone from the all around the community comes on a mm -hmm. uh, Sundays, Saturdays, you know, every other Sunday or every other Saturday, and we really box it out, bro. For real? So, guns down, gloves up, movement, bro. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Great movement out the DMV. So if anyone from the DMV, come show love. Okay, okay, come that's what's love. up. That's what's up. That's what's up. So, yeah. you, uh, so you be getting out there, you be fighting shit. Yeah, bro. I'm okay, just, I'm, okay. I'm doing no right now. You doing no? Oh, yeah. hey, so hey, hey, man! Send us in some videos. Send us in some videos. We need to see what's up. So, do you have any questions that you want to ask me? Anything you want some information on? Anything that you're curious about? Ask away, my man. Let's see this, key, bro. Let me get some questions off you, bro. To be honest, what do you do when it comes to like a little situation? Well, right, let's say. You need a guest, like you need a shower, let's say, you know? Okay. And you go to a place, you know what I'm saying? Not every not not every place is like accessible, you know what I'm saying? What do you do? What do you do? Like if I was to ever come in that situation, I, I definitely gotta do a wash up. But I ain't came across that situation because I make sure everywhere I go, I always get a handicap accessible room. Mm -hmm. Um I'm not I'm I'm not pulling up nowhere where if I'm staying there I can't take a shower. I'm not pull. Yeah, I, I, I like I like I, I can't pull up there. How about all right? This might be a person. How when you first became paralyzed, bro? How do you think your sex life was gonna be, bro? How did I think my man? I was so and I hate to say this. I was so sexually active. 
it was so depressing. Once you know what I mean, because yeah. I felt like I was just so active with it. Like it just it went from like I felt like I was doing it and shit. It just it was like a roadblock. And but I mean I still had women that wanted to pull up. Cassandra pulled back up on me, you know. So I wasn't really worried about it, but it was something I was definitely insecure about. Yeah, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying. You always wanna. Yeah. Uh, Play yes. Yeah, exactly. Play. Exactly. So, I know, like, man, for real, for real, I ain't had sex for like two years, man. Oh, like, for real? yeah, man, that's how depressed I was. Like, I was, like, I just, I just really wasn't worried about it. You know what I mean? Like, I felt like I just had so much on my mind. I ain't really had time to really worry about that, and it bothered me because it, it, like, I, th- I felt like I thought about it every single day. You know, so like that was really depressing. But I know that that's one thing that if that it, it really can be depressing. Yeah, damn. I mean, when mm-hmm. I first bro, I didn't have sex, you know. Then my boy in the wheelchair, he's like, bro, you still get your bitches, bro. Yeah, hey, ex- bro. hey hell like, yeah. Bro, bro, I'm like, all right, bro, this girl, I guess. <laughs> okay. Like, yo, you join, she like, yo, she trying to talk to you, bro. Like, what's up? Yeah. I went to go talk to her, you know, one thing meant to another, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, bro, I didn't know it. People in the church could get down like that. Hey, man. Hey, look. Women like confidence, too, mama. You got to be confident with it. You don't want to be too confident, but, you know what I mean? Like, you want to be confident Uh, enough to where she know that you about your shit. You know what I mean? Like, she know. You feel me? Like, she know. Oh, damn. You know what I mean? This motherfucker just pulled up on me. Oh, damn. Like. (laughs) You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. And and look. Look. For real, for real. She might not even see. Look. You pull up on her the right way. She ain't even going to see the chair. For real, for no, real. No, you right, bro. Exactly, exactly. So, hey, man. So, hey, it's all about the pull-up game. You feel me? Nah, for real, <laughs> bro. How you rolling in that joint? Yeah, that's funny, bro. Exactly, uh, exactly. Bro. Yeah. Like, bro, bro. It's not coming from a guy that literally has. I've been like, you know, just mm-hmm. became guys, bro. It's not that bad, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's just your your thoughts that bring you down the what ifs. Yeah. What, yeah. What nah. if that? Man, that's what brings yeah. you down, bro. After a while, bro, once you get through that, bro, you good, bro. Like, mm-hmm. like keep going. That's yeah. certainly keep going, bro. And you're right. You're right. And that's one thing I had to realize, too, man. I was just, I felt like I was just depressed every day. And, like, I was just like, man, everybody's just so happy. And I'm so sad. I'm like, man, they life is just going to keep going on. They gonna come around me, be depressed, and you know what I mean, like, and then leave and be happy. I'm like, man, I want, I want a little bit of taste of that happiness. You feel me? And I just like, man, I just, not to say I stopped caring, but I just stopped really just being in my head as much, cause, man, that that shit could take you down a rabbit hole. Like, for real. Yeah, and and I know it's tough firsthand, especially for the, like I said, for the first two years I was stuck in that rabbit hole, like dead ass. What I do when I when I well, I wake up every day, I wake up sad, bro. For real? Like, saying I'll be I wake up leaked or something, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I wake up sad, so I was like, yo, I'll Man. go cry I'll go cry in front of the mirror, bro. I'll cry for a good ten minutes, bro, straight to God. And then I'll I wipe them off, bro. I was like, you know what? You that nigga still, bro. Go take exactly. your shower, bro. Exactly. Take your shower. Cry what you gotta do. Feel what you gotta feel, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Feel what you gotta feel. But after, bro, boss up, bro. Go take your shower. Go smell good, bro. Go put that smile on your face because you happy. You still alive, bro. There's people out here still, you know what I'm saying? You, yeah, exactly. You, so you can't really be out here like, you know, my life's over. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, you're feeling that right now, bro. Hey, my, hey, look, if you ever need somebody to talk to, hit me up. You feel me? Hey, look, just write me. I'm there. I'm there. You feel me? I ain't doing, I ain't doing much half the time. You feel me? Uh-huh. So look, I mean, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna follow you back. I'm gonna follow you back. But if I don't see you, I mean, if I ain't following you, then I ain't really seeing it. I ain't really seeing it. But I'm about to follow you right now, my man, for real. I'll be. I'll tell my dad. I was like, yo, this guy, his name's Kevin. Yo, he's in the chair. I think he live out uh California and shit. He be motivated. Mm-hmm. She look, look at his car. That's right, because he knows what I mean. He's like, yo. <laughs> yeah. He said you could be like that one day, bro. Just put your mind to it, bro. Put he ain't lying, mind, bro. He not lying. He not lying. Look, I used to live on the East Coast too, you yeah, know. Man. Like, yeah, you know what I mean. I trust me. So, it's possible. It's po- anything is possible. You, you know. I feel like you headed in the right direction. You know, like you doing the housing thing. Look, just keep at it. Don't stop. Look, trust me. You gonna get there. Bro. Everybody about to get there, Brody. Exactly, man. Exactly. It's, it's all about the work you put in. Don't let your minds bring y'all down, bro. Mm-hmm. So, 
That's something I have to fight, bro. Like, that's your yeah. worst enemy, bro. That's mm -hmm. the worst enemy. It could be your best friend or your worst mm -hmm. enemy, bro. Five years, bro. We about to make a little collab because I'm going to be up there with you, bro. As a, on that okay. Bro, I'm hey, hey, you, bro. hey, hey. I want you to be up there. What you want to do? What you trying to do? Try to do vlogs and all that, you know what I'm Try to do vlogs and stuff. Hey, my boy, he in the wheelchair. Shout out to my boy Tono, when I was telling you about earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got a car channel. It's called, it's called Car Vibes Reacts. And he, okay. look, he be doing little vlogs and stuff at the car meets. He got a nice little five, little lime green BMW. You oh, feel me? He be pulling up on me and stuff. That's all right. Yeah, yeah. Hey, man, look, it's possible. Hey, look, just get on there, start filming. You feel me? Like, what you doing? Like, what's up? I'm trying to really start vlogging and start showing my uh, gaming, bro. I will, that's something For I want real? To that's always, I'm, like, you know what I'm saying? I want to get my money up, but. You know, mm -hmm. What you be doing on the gaming side? Warzone, doing that, Twitch, and all that shit. I be on, bro, I be mostly, like, as in games or, like, what I be doing, doing, like. Like, as in Twitch or, like, you know what I'm saying? Hell, man, like, what you want to do for Twitch? Like, you know what I mean? Like, shout out your channel, too. Oh, shit. Shout it I'm out. Like, Let's get it. Let's oh, get it, man. Oh, oh, Polo Plug Kevin. It. Polo Kevl, you know what I'm saying? Ooh. Anyone can get to work on Warzone. That's that's on PlayStation? Ooh. Polo Kev? Uh, yeah, you said Polo Kev? Polo Kevl. P-O-L-O-K-E-V-O. -O -E I bet it up. Bet it up. Hey, send them that invite. I got a little PS5 right here. I might have to, you know what I mean, re-download it. You know, give you that work. I don't know. I ain't played in a little while, though. Shit, I saw you was doing 2K tournaments and shit, so you know what I'm saying? Oh, oh, oh shit. Hey, look. <laughs> okay. Hey, look. I'm going to add you. I'm gonna add you on the PlayStation Network, and we gonna have to get it in. I'm gonna have to beat you at some. You, uh, you play, you play FIFA. You play FIFA. What's up? Everything, bro. Oh, he said he play everything. Hey, look, bro. that FIFA 20 free. I had That's, to do, that. I had, just know I had to get this, just so I can store all my games in this joint, so I can. Oh, you got a little hard drive with it. Okay. Me. Hey, look, I bought look, I bought one too, but it won't the same color though. <laughs> look, this it's the only color they have. It's the only color they had. They had a pink one. So I bought it for my games, but I don't even think I can. Uh, I don't man, even think it worked with the PS5. Real man use pink. I'm telling you. <laughs> nah, but, hey, look. That, that was the only one that they had. I told Cassandra she could have it, but then I needed it for something. So I was like, man, let me just use it. Ain't nobody going to see it, so I can't even believe I'm on here showing yeah. it. I thought my, I, the whole time, bro, my camera is supposed to be facing like this, bro. Like, you know, that little. Yeah. Um, damn, bro. I have to fix nah. it. Oh, okay, 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 nah. You That's should be good, good. Like, you should be good. You know what I'm saying? Because I have to have a nice little background, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, nah, you good, you good, you good. The background good, everything straight, man. Look, I appreciate you coming on for real, for real. Like, I had a really good time. It was it was cool hearing your story and stuff like that, my man. So. That was amazing, bro. You blew, like, I'm actually, like, in a little video call with you, bro. Like, I'm a little, like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, shit, I'm about, nah. I'm about to tell my boy with that, then I'm about, you know what I'm saying? While I'm smoking, I'm like, yo. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be repeating that shit. Oh, <laughs> I was really on the, on the live cam with him, bro. Yeah, I, hey man, I appreciate it, bro. bro. I, look, I appreciate the support, and for real, for real, like I said before. I ain't like doing stuff like this, but my wife, she the one that really got me in my comfort zone and really helped me share my story and really be out here putting up videos that people, you know, like can really look at and so gain she, some type of inspiration from. So she's a keeper for that, bro. Cause you exactly inspired me, bro. That's all okay. I gotta say. If it wasn't for her, bro, you know what I'm saying? I would've never mm -hmm. met you. And exactly. I would've, I would've still been here like, yo, what the fuck? Like, you know what I'm saying? Because when, mm -hmm. like I, I first when I first came out to the hospital, you was the first uh, person I saw videos off in there and all that. So, how, okay, so you said that you just looked up how to drive and that's how you saw me? Yeah, your SRT and shit. I was like, yo, this guy drives an SRT. Oh. He's a chick. Okay, so yeah, I did have the Hellcat at that time. Okay. <laughs> oh damn! So that's what you. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Then it makes it makes sense now. It makes sense now. Flexing it in a chair in the SRT, bro. My, mm -hmm. my, 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 I was over there just sleeping like. You know, <laughs> I'm like Yo, just look at this joint. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. But like I said, man, I really appreciate you coming on, and I know it takes a lot to really share your story, but hopefully somebody can gain, you know, some type of inspiration from it and. You know, cause a message out for these young folks. All right, better yo, go. let's get in. Yo, I'm telling y'all, if you ever trying to get robbed, bro, give that shit up. It's not worth it, bro. Materialistic mm -hmm. shit, bro, comes and goes, bro. But you feel exactly. me? A slime, bro, or a little organ, bro. That's not coming back from nothing. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And if you do have beef out here, bro, be a man, bro. Link up with them 
and just run your ones, bro, like a man, bro, fist to fist, bro. None, none of that gunplay, bro. None of that, bro. Mm-hmm. And if you people, you're not the only one. You're not, you're, you're not causing damage to the guy you left in the chair. So you're also gonna cause damage yeah. to yourself because you know that's gonna hold a really big weight on your, on your. Mm-hmm. Car, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. Do you do you feel like that you hold some type of hatred in for the guy that shot you? I have to let it go, bro. For real? I have to let the hatred go, bro. Mm-hmm. Uh, how 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 am I gonna live happy if I have hatred towards him still? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I have to let it go. I mean, I mean, forgive but never forget. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No. Nah, definitely. 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 So so did they tell you who shot you, or do, do you feel like it's just still a I, I mystery? Know, I know who shot me, bro. But it's, okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just, yeah. It'd be just hearsay because you really ain't really see it. Because your yeah, back was turned. Because I didn't see him pull the trigger, but I know. Yeah. Shot, you know what I'm saying? I yeah, literally yeah. had to talk with that boy. He was showing me everything. You know what I'm saying? Literally, before everything happened, he was like, you know what I'm saying? He was really like making it seem like he really like fucked with me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's, it's cool though. You know what I'm saying? Like my mm-hmm. mom says, karma is a bitch. And God. Okay. Yeah. Always, you know what I'm saying? God sees everything. Yeah. Yeah, you right about that. Um, okay, so just to re just to kinda like re harp on it, they were trying to rob you and and, and you weren't trying to give it up. Yeah. That's it? Damn. Yeah. Damn that sucks. Yeah, yeah. They, they they thought I was gonna give it up. And the funny part is bro, the same guy that set me up, bro, took me to mm-hmm. the hospital. For real? He was in he was in the car crying. Damn. Saying my fault, bro. It wasn't supposed to go yeah. like that. Like you know what I'm saying. You were supposed to yeah. give it up. I'm sorry. Yeah. He you see, hitting, but he be hitting he be hitting me up to this day, bro. On some like, yo, I got some money for, for you. Like you know, I feel bad for you. I'm like, I don't need your money, bro. I'm good. Yeah. I'm good on this side. You know what I'm saying? Because then I like. start thinking about myself. I was like, yo, bro, I could have died that night. Cause literally, well, that's what the doctor said. He was like, bro, if you came here minutes, like. Like if you mm-hmm. like came here five minutes uh, uh, later, uh, uh, I can't even fucking get the word out, bro. Five yeah. minutes late, bro. Um, you could have died. You was losing too much blood, and mm-hmm. I was like, damn, bro. I started thinking a lot, like, thank God I'm alive, cause you know my daughter needs a father. Like, then exactly, exactly. Yo, I'm still young too, bro. Like, come, on, I still mm-hmm. have a whole life ahead of me, bro. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, you. Do. And I'm pretty sure whatever you was fighting for or fighting over or that they were trying to steal, I'm pretty sure you made enough money. To buy that shit times ten, you know, since that incident that happened. Just, just know, bro. Just know, bro. I didn't even have, I didn't even have my wallet on me that night, bro. Damn. <laughs> so they really just did all of that, just you feel me? For nothing. For nothing, bro. They just got something yeah. on in their conscience now. That's all they got. Mm-hmm. That's yeah, all they that got. Sucks. That sucks, man. But hey, look, like I said, I'm gonna add you on that PlayStation. You feel me? Right. So, so be ready. I'm gonna have to download some. So we are gonna have to, you know, what I mean, like get the same game or something like that. Cause I got, you know, what I mean, like let's get it in on something. I ain't played Wars on a, in a minute, so I'm gonna I'm have to, like, you know, uh, get up I on, be on everything, bro. For real, for real. You be on everything. What games you got? Every game, bro. Like what? I'm saying, like tell me, like, like every you got game. every game for real. Like every game. Well, if not, bro, I'll go buy it right now. <laughs> like, if you nah, now nah, look, look. Do you normally play FIFA? Do you I play FIFA? FIFA? Yeah, FIFA. Uh, which one though? Twenty two? Nah, uh, I got twenty. Okay. I, think I, I might got twenty two too, but I think I play twenty because my brother don't got that one. Okay, I'm gonna see. Just let, I... me just let me know. Just let just let me know if you got twenty, and then I might I might have twenty two though. I might. But you yo, you should get UFC, bro. Awesome game. Okay. I yeah. bet. I bet. I'm gonna have to check it out. I'm gonna have to check it out. I might have to give you that word. I might have to give you that word. Hey, look. Hey, I'm competitive, nice. so let's it get it sounds, in. It sounds nice, right, bro? But let's get it. <laughs> it does sound nice, but then when we get on there, I get my ass beat on. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? All right, bet. Bet, bet, my man. We got to get it in. But like I said, I appreciate you coming on telling your story, my man. And Thank you, man. It was a pleasure, uh, pleasure talking to you, bro. I, I really appreciate it, man. I really never thought.